Okay, I'd like to thank everybody here coming out today to honor the veterans in Tewksbury. Thank you very much, and I guess we'll start the program. Honor guards, present the colors. Present Harms. Quarter Herms. We'll now please uncover and we'll now recite the Pledge of Allegiance in unison. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cover. We will now have the uh, national anthem by the Swinging Seniors Tewksbury and Tewksbury Memorial High Chorus. Okay. Present arms. Present Harms. Harder Harms. Today, the today the uh, color guards that we have are the VFW Post eighty one sixty four the Tewksbury Police and Fire Honor Guards and the Boy Scouts. We will now have the opening prayer by Mr. Reverend Baxter Chisholm, Tewksbury Congressional Church. Uncover. Let us bow our heads. Thank you for this beautiful day where we come and remember the valor of our veterans that are here today their sacrifice, their call to defend this great land that we love, that we've been given to protect. You sent them around the world as service people that wanted peace, that wanted to protect, away from their families whom they dearly loved. Maybe they lost a friend that they remember here today in their hearts. Mighty God, thank you that we're able to come here in a peaceful assembly, something that they love, to protect our nation so we can worship as we may, for we can go about as we may, for we can believe about what we may, that we can live in peace and go to places that we love dearly. 
So thank you for our veterans that are here today and around the world and what they mean to us. Again, we thank you for them. Amen. Cover. We will now have greetings from the Board of Select Selectmen by Jane Wellman. Thank you. Good morning. I, think. I stand before you today filled with pride and gratitude. On this day, in this month, our nation remembers the moment when the guns of World War I went silent. We come together today to honor and celebrate the brave men and women who have selflessly served our nation. Tewksbury is a town steeped in history and resilience and is a place where community matters. From the halls of Tewksbury Memorial High School to the heart of our neighborhoods, veterans' contributions are woven into the very fabric of our town. To our veterans, your service is etched in Tewksbury's heart. You've stood tall in the face of adversity and your sacrifices resonate across our town, our state, and our nation. Let us also remember the families, the spouses who held down the fort, the parents who waited anxiously, and the children who missed bedtime stories. Their sacrifices are the silent strength behind our veterans. The defense of freedom is not just for those in the military. Each of us shares that responsibility in part by putting those freedoms into action by voting in elections or speaking out against injustices. We must also ensure that everyone feels the benefits of freedom, and we can do that by volunteering in our communities or teaching our children what it really means to be an American. Veterans Day isn't just a day for veterans, it's a day for all Americans. It's a day to remember why they were fighting and a day for all of us to begin our journey of protecting our freedom and the freedom of many future generations. The town of Tewksbury will continue to work tirelessly for our veterans. Tewksbury is a community that honors its heroes not just on Veterans Day, but every day. In closing, let us not just offer a thank you. Let us engage, listen, and learn from our veterans. Their stories are our shared legacy, the triumphs, the struggles, the unbreakable bonds forged in service. By carrying their stories forward, we ensure that their legacy lives on. Thank you, veterans. On behalf of the select board and our community, we thank you for your service, your sacrifice, and your enduring spirit. May Tewksbury forever be a beacon of gratitude and support for all those who wore the uniform. Thank you. We will now have our guest speaker, Vinnie O'Leary from the VFW. Good morning. Thank you all for being here with me today as we celebrate Veterans Day. As a veteran, I stand before you with a profound sense of pride and gratitude. I've been where many of you, our fellow service members, have been, serving our great country with unwavering dedication, yet facing many challenges challenges that have, that have come with it. Today, I want to focus on the importance of Veterans Day, not only from my perspective as a, as a veteran of the VFW member, but also co uh, collective duty we as U.S. citizens share in honoring our veterans and ensuring the true essence of the day is not forgotten. Veterans Day holds a special place in my heart, as it does for all veterans who have worn the, the uniform of our great nation. It is a day that reminds us of the commitment we made to defend the principles of freedom, liberty, and justice. It is a day when we reflect on the time spent 
away from home. The bonds folk formed with our brothers and sisters in arms and the sacrifices made on both our native and foreign shores to protect the Amer American way of life and aid those striving to enjoy their own freedom. Veterans Day is merely about acknowledging our new ser service or expressing gratitude. It, it is about making veterans a touch tone for understanding, education, appreciation for all Americans. And I believe it's our job as veterans to help ensure that the true significance of this day isn't lost in the noise of department store sales or everyday life. We must work to remind our nation that Veterans Day isn't just another holiday on the calendar. It is a profound reminder of not only the commitment and sacrifices of all those who have served, but of the pain, painstakingly high of cost of freedom and paid by those who have selflessly had laid down their own lives and futures in the present in, in, in protecting us. As residents, we have been, we have been witness to the harsh realities of the harsh realities of war and conflict and the lasting impacts on service has had a, not only our lives but those of our loved ones too. We stood shoulder to shoulder with our comrades facing adversity together overcoming ob obstacles that at times seemed unsurmountable. We've lost friends experienced with physical and invisible wars, wounds of wars, and yet we continue to stand for the values that defined our nation. Every American, no matter where they live or what they do, reaps the benefits of the service and sacrifice of those, of those who believe in somewhere greater than themselves. And while the debt we owe them can never be repaid, commemorating Veterans Day is a start. It is a shared responsibility and an effort which ties all Americans, veterans and non-veterans alike, together. The true, the, true, the true meaning of Veterans Day must be projected beyond parades and school assemblies, city ceremonies, and memorials. It is about telling the veterans' story and the lessons we've learned. Every re veteran take, takes away different life lessons from our military service, and sharing that wisdom with America's youth is how we, ensu we ensure the brighter future for all. We must remind others that the lives we live and the freedom we enjoy come with painful, painful reminders of just how high the cost of freedom is. As a veteran, I am here to help ensure that the important, importance of Veterans Day is understood by all. And I encourage everyone here to engage in the tough conversations and, their, and to share their experiences and participate in community events that raise awareness and honor our military and veterans community. We must take our sheer missions to educate future generations that are in core. The American spirit is defined by resilience, selflessness, and commitment. Today, today's world is often hyper-focused on our differences, and Veterans Day provides us an opportunity to remember our dis and that despite different beliefs, the, the, life, the lifestyles, our, dis our desire for a better life has always united us. Every veteran has proudly worn the uniform of the state of the nation, has served alongside someone who has who was different, had different belief systems, a different religion, a different upbringing. The list can go on and on. Yet, all veterans put aside these differences to focus on the in intrinsic intrinsic values of freedom that allow all of us to be different. Today and every day, we are grateful for all Americans, all American veterans, for it is thanks to the American veteran that we are able to, 
to gather together and celebrate today. I leave you with a happy Veterans Day to teach to, to each and every one of you and on my fellow veterans in a sincere and helpful, helpful thank you. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you. The National Guard, the VFW, and the American Legion will now place wreaths at our war memorials. World War I. World War II. Korean War. Vietnam War.
Gulf War. Iraq Afghanistan wars Ken Lombardi of the United States Army will now play taps. Present arms. Butter Hermes. The Swinging Seniors and the Tuxbury Memorial High School Chorus would like to perform Let There Be Peace.
At this time, I would like to re read a proclamation from the governor of Massachusetts. Whereas, since the Commonwealth's earliest days, thousands of men and women have served our country in defense of freedom and liberty. And whereas, on November 11, 1918, after four years of conflict, the armistice was signed in the forest of Campania by allied nations and Germany ending World War I, the war to end all wars. And whereas, since that day, every November, people from around the nation have gathered to honor our veterans. And whereas, in November 2023, the world will commemorate the 105th anniversary of the armistice that ended the fighting in World War I at 11 a.m., November 11th, 1918, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And whereas there are approximately 300,000 veterans living in Massachusetts, and whereas today we are reminded of the great sacrifice and contributions of our vet that our veterans have made to our country, and whereas we honor and salute those who served our country throughout the generations with honor patriotism, and courage. And whereas it is appropriate that all Massachusetts citizens remember the bravery of those who served their country so that their dedication and sacrifices serve as a reminder of the cost of our freedom. And now, therefore, I, Maura T. Healy, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby proclaim November 11th 2023 to be Veterans Day and urge all residents of the Commonwealth to take cognizance of this event and participate fit fittingly in its observance. Given at the Executive Chamber in Boston this 11th day of November in the year 2023 and of the independence of the United States of America, 247th. And it's signed, Marty Healy, Kimberly Driscoll and William Francis Gelb. God save the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We will now have a closing song from the Swinging Seniors and the Tewksbury Memorial High School Chorus.
In closing today, I would like to thank all the participants and all the people who came out to honor the veterans. Thank you very much.